Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 666th Energy Drink Review video, 7.24pm, and it's Sunday, June 26, 2016. Yes, my 666th review. You know what that means? JK? But anyway, um, this is going to be one of my special reviews that is like, you know, been coming up and stuff. Because I have a lot of, like, special reviews planned. A lot of rare and discontinued drinks. This one, I'm not for sure if it's technically discontinued or not. Um, this was the last can my friend found at his gas station that he went to. Um, and I guess it got damaged during shipping, so that sucks. Um, but this was the last can that they had, so... I was going to try to get another one from him, but... They didn't have any more, so that sucked. So it sucks it got damaged. And this can, I'm probably not going to be able to read hardly any of it. Because so I guess it's in, like, Spanish or something. So this is, like, my second international drink review. <clears throat> the first one was Michael Jackson's Mystery Drink. Um, I might update that video's title or description or whatever. Because I'm not for sure what country it's from, because there's different versions. Once I find out, I'll, like, update it. And uh, I'll update this one with, like, the, you know, the country or whatever. Either the title or the description. But I'm not really for sure where it's from yet. I'll have to look it up. I'm not exactly sure if this one part's part of the title or not. But it might be, though. But anyway, it's called Hazmescon Raptor. Bebida energizante, tamalo bien frio, I think that might be the flavor, contini torina, might be Italian actually, but yeah, just look at that can, just look at that can, that is absolutely amazing, but yeah, it did get like, badly damaged, like my one killer buzz can, that I got from Big Lots, has like a bad dent, and it might get messed up when I try opening it, and the tab might break off, so I'm going to have to be careful. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, like, hardly read any of this, so I'll probably just show it off to you and then read what I can read. It's, like, dented there, too. It says the same thing on that side. Shows a dinosaur, a raptor. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that can. Look at that. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's part of the title or not. It has mass cone. Raptor. I like the color of the can. It's 473 milliliters. So it's 16 ounces. So, yeah. I like the colors. It's like red. It has black and silver. It looks pretty cool. I definitely like the can design. I got this with two other drinks for, I think, $30 or $35 from my friend Gordon, a.k.a. Pop Top Reviews. So thanks, Gordon, for getting me this. Well, I bought it from him, but you know what I mean. Still, I want to thank Gordon, because it's pretty cool. And this side, it shows the same thing, except it has some recycling stuff and the Wrexham and the codes. See, it has the recycling stuff, Wrexham, and then some numbers. I don't know if you can see that good. But yeah. Then this side, it has the nutrition facts. Then the other ingredients and the distributor information and the caffeine content and the SKU. I might not be able to read hardly any of it. But I know that's supposed to be nutrition facts. Servings per container, two. And that one's supposed to be calories, but... Might be 110 calories per serving. It's probably 220 calories. That's what I'm guessing. That one's probably total carbs, or... Sobio might be sodium. And no, that one's carbohydrates total. 10%. I guess that one's the sugar. As uh, Carez, 28 grams of sugar, 
that one's protein, 0 grams. Niacin, 80%. Vitamin B6, 190%. Vitamin B12, 20%. So it's low in B12, but high in B6. Panathenic acid, 40%. Here's the other ingredients and stuff. I can't read it off. Hopefully you can see it okay. It's like word text font. It's like blurring. That's a warning sign. Or a danger sign. It's like dented there too. There's SKU. It's like silver, so it's a little bit hard to see. I'm trying to show you this the best I can. But it's like glaring and shadowing. Okay. Um not really for sure where it's from. Fabrica. I don't know. No. That's the website www.alimentosmaravilla.com Um, guess it has per 250 milliliters, taurine 750 milligrams, caffeine 75 milligrams. So it has probably about 120 something or 130 something milligrams caffeine per can. That's just my guesstimate. But anyway, the can looks amazing. Looks cool. I'm going to shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. Hopefully it will open okay. We'll see. So hold on a minute. Okay, it opened without breaking the tab. And wow. Interesting. I never had an energy drink that smells like this. <sighs> Hard to describe. I know I smelled the smell somewhere before. I don't know if it was like a shampoo or a perfume. Or... Some kind of candy. Not really for sure. Hmm. Smells like berry, but also like tropical a little bit. Uh, hmm. Maybe like strawberry. Um, might have a little bit of a rock star type of smell, but not really. This smells like. If I was comparing it to like a rock star clone, I would say it's about like only maybe 10% close or 20% close. This one's way different. It smells more berry, but more. I'm not really for sure. It's like a candy or perfume or something. Very interesting. Never smelled anything like this. <clears throat> Definitely smells way different than the USA drinks, that's for sure. Color is like a brown and golden color. I don't know if you can really see that. But yeah. Looks sort of like a rock star clone, the color wise. Color wise, anyway. But yeah, it definitely doesn't smell like a rock star clone. That's for sure. It smells like berry, but like tropical or citrusy. I'm not really for sure. But anyway, I'm hyped now just by the smell of it. And by the can design, it looks amazing. It's rare. I don't know if it's technically discontinued or not because I forgot to show you the bottom. This says September 2016 is when it expired. It's like upside down though. Yeah, it's Best Buy September 2016. So, I guess it's still fresh anyway for a couple more months. So, I don't know if it's discontinued or not, but this is the last can my friend found at that gas station. <clears throat> and it's rare though, because it's like in Spanish or something. So, yeah, but anyway, now I'm going to try it. Ooh. Well, that's different. It's sweet at first, and then it gets like a... In the middle of the taste, it gets like a... 
A little bit of a bitter, herbaly taste, but then it goes back sweet. Weird. It's not too carbonated. Has a little bit of filling when it goes down your throat, but not too much. It's like a sugar-free. I don't know, it tastes like a sugar-free, but it has sugar in it. Like, it tastes like a, you know, that sugar-free taste from, like, the American sugar-free drinks. It has a taste like that. But, um, I don't know. It's weird, but I like it. It's like berry and citrusy, then it gets like herbaly, and then I don't even know. It's weird, but it's good. I like it. Highly recommend you trying it. It's way different compared to the American energy drinks, like taste wise and smell wise. The can design looks badass and amazing. That's definitely for sure. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to get this, because this is the last can they had at that gas station, and it's like in, it's like from some other country. I think the language is Spanish, or maybe Italian. Not really for sure, but I think it's Spanish. But yeah, looks really cool. I like it. <laughs> um, if it didn't have that herbaly taste in the middle of it, it would be really good. But energy-wise, it doesn't have a lot of B12, but has a lot of B6. It has a pretty good amount of caffeine. Um, energy-wise, I would say it lasts about three and a half hours to about four and a half hours, so it works pretty good. Taste is really unique. I had never had a drink that tastes like this. Um, can design is amazing. It's rare though. I wish it didn't have like that sugar-free taste in it too. Be it, even though it has sugar. Tastes sort of like a sugar-free drink, so that's weird. But yeah, I'm gonna give the Raptor Energy Drink. Well, I don't know if it's called Raptor or not. It might be called Hazmas Cone Raptor. I'm not for sure, or it might just be called Raptor. I'll have to decide when I upload it, and I'll have to find out. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Definitely recommend you trying this if you can somehow get it, cause it is really unique, and I like it. Has a very cool can design. It's amazing. Um, the only downside is I wish it didn't have that sugar-free taste, even though it has sugar and that herbaly taste, and it could have had a little bit more vitamin B12. Then would be really good. But yeah, I give it a nine out of ten. It's cool. So yeah. My next review, I'm gonna be reviewing another very rare special energy drink. Stay tuned for that review. Stay tuned for my upcoming reviews, stay tuned for more reviews, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, see you guys later. Peace out, and bye.